All right, next letter here is from a, a woman, J R, I think is the last, um, the last name there. Um, first initial or first letter of the last name. April 20th, 2020, letter here. Dear Brian, Catherine, and Oliver, I am very grateful for your online ministry. I've watched your videos of, on the Bible version issue, the Trinity, the Antichrist, and the New World Order system, and the catching away of the Bride of Christ prior to the time of Jacob's trouble. I follow along in my Bible, King James Version. Praise the Lord, that's great. Um, now that so many places are shut down, I have more time for prayer and Bible study. I've been talking to my relatives for many years about being saved by grace and not by our own works. But my mother is a Roman Catholic and it seems to fall on deaf ears. I realize that it is in God's hands now. I continue to pray and show them God's love. I will tell you, you I'm profoundly and deeply grateful that the Lord has brought me out of the Roman Catholic Church in which my parents raised me and into a saving knowledge of him, I can see what a wicked system that is. Yeah. Until the COVID-19 scare came to the USA in mid-March, I was attending the Lutheran LCMS church with my husband, which he strongly believes in. I find it hypocritical of them that they were always saying how important going to their religious services was, but now they have allowed the government to shut them down. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. You know, I, I just got to pause there for a minute. Push a little invisible pause button here. Um, all these church buildings, if you're not in a local church, if you're not faithfully attending a local church, you need to check yourself. You need uh, Church, church. You've got to be in church every time the doors are open. The government says shut down. Oh, okay. You can't come to church. I mean, you, if you'd have said this stuff years ago, hey, the day's going to come. When the government is going to shut you down because of a pandemic and they're going to make you wear face masks and social distance and all this other stuff and scan your foreheads for fever and whatever else, um, it's going to, that, that's going to happen in the future. You're going to shut your doors because the government said so. You just said that a couple years back, almost every church out there would have said, we will never shut down. No way. Absolutely not. But it happened. Why? The government corporations. If they resume having religious services, should I go back there with my husband or should I refuse? Um, I can see how organized religion is more of a business and a social club. Exactly. I was convicted after hearing your message on the importance of nonconformity. I'm praying the more for more boldness to be different from the world around me. Um, I'm looking forward more than ever to the catching away and being with Jesus and other believers. I've gone through some really difficult times in various ways, but the Bible says to expect this, and it does. I hope and pray that you and your family are doing well and look forward to meeting you someday face to face. I'm working on having more boldness and standing up for the Lord and his truth, whatever the cost. Amen. Absolutely. Um, as far as going back to the church building thing, no, I wouldn't go back. I would just simply refuse that. And I mean, there's there's certain things a wife is to submit to her husband, reverence her husband, the whole deal. But if he's taking you to some place that's that's false, um, now it's an issue of a spiritual issue where you're disobeying the Lord and obeying your husband. You don't ever do that. Okay, the Lord's not going to say, oh well, your husband said to drink alcohol, so my word says, you know drink alcohol to the point of drunkenness. My word says that's wrong, but your husband said it, so eh, go with your husband. No, no, no. My word doesn't say anything about going to a church building, but your husband says to. The Lord's not going to judge you if you refuse to go back. So I would say definitely, absolutely refuse to go back, especially to a Lutheran church. I mean, there's, they're just papists is all that they are. I mean, literally, the Lutheran church rejoined Catholicism in, what was it, 1991, I think? 90. 99? Yeah. My wife was LCMS too, so she knows. She understands that. She was raised in that whole system. But yeah, 1999, the Lutheran Church officially became Catholic again. And there's even an article about where the Pope himself said the Lutherans are more Romish than Rome. 
Okay, if you didn't hear that, the gist of the title. my wife just said that uh, there was an article she read where the Pope himself said the Lutherans are more Romish than Rome, as in Roman Catholics. So yeah, don't go back to the Lutheran Church. And just point out the hypocrisy of the whole church system to your husband. Why would they shut down? You know, like that. And uh, you're going to go through some rough times. Um, when you truly get saved, it's not some kind of a nice little you know, satin little pillow that you get set on and nothing bad happens to you, which you know. I'm not trying to make fun of you or anything or anybody else out there. You're going to go through it. You're going to have people that you never thought would turn on you, and they'll just turn on you rabidly like that, um, and you'll just be shocked sometimes. It just, I can't believe they're saying these things about me. Wow, you know, and your own husband, your own wife. Man's foes shall be they of his own household, uh, the Bible talks about. So, Please be encouraged to do the right thing. That's going to be it. I'm going to go on to the next letter.